tier list thing is fun. So in a live stream where I was testing and multi-streaming both here on the channel and over on my Twitch channel, link down below in the description by the way, I decided to do a Minecraft tier list. However, the topic is one that is both interesting and also at a risk of getting me cancelled if I have a wrong opinion. Basically, I tier listed all the Minecraft versions above 1.0. Yeah, and let me tell you, it was an interesting time. If you enjoy this video and want to watch the whole thing, there's a link down below in the description for the VOD, and there's a link to my Twitch channel as well if you wish to give that a follow. I will in the future when I do live stream, most likely do it both here on the channel and on Twitch simultaneously, aka multi-streaming, so you can watch from either pla whichever platform that you prefer. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you do, and let the fun begin. We're going to be doing this tier list thing, okay? I'm going to try and tier list something that is going to be probably... Yeah, it's going to be interesting, okay? Are we ready for this? That's... <laughs> uh, hold on. That's not the right one. That's the YouTube chat. All right. So, we need to do a tier list, okay? Now, there's many things we can actually do a tier list for in Minecraft. We can do for mobs, we can do for blocks, we can do for biomes. But one that is probably going to be the most interesting of them all, because it is something that is very hot in the community, where you risk getting cancelled for saying the wrong thing. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, going to be Minecraft versions tier list. <laughs> now, obviously, we need to uh, establish some tiers here, and I feel like as a... A, B, C is kind of boring. So we need to figure out what to actually call these, okay? As for super, super tier, okay? These are the top versions, like the most, some of the most important or some of the ones that have had the most impact on Minecraft, okay? Valuable tier, okay? It's good, but it's not super, okay? That makes sense. Middle grounds, if I could spell it right. Middle grounds is like, it's okay, it's not bad, it's not good. This is meh, right? This is meh. Because if it's in this, it's like, eh, it's okay, but it's not super, you know? This down here is just going to see extra meh. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Uh, are we including mods for them? No, these are vanilla. I just realized I am so out of focus on that on that camera. I'm so sorry. I, this one, I don't know what to call the bottom one. It's going to this is the one where the update as low. It's as low as can be. Lowest of low. Okay, that's how it is. Okay, and we're gonna start from the very beginning with Minecraft 1.0. Okay, this is Minecraft 1.0, and for me personally, I'm, I was a, I was a, I was around, but I wasn't playing Minecraft at the time with Alpha and Beta. In fact, I didn't even know about it. I started playing Minecraft at 1.7.10. So I'm all the way over here, okay? I'm this guy here. Uh, so prior to that, I haven't been playing them, but I have known what they are kind of about. And if there's one of them where I'm in doubt, I'm going to be looking it up here on stream. So Minecraft 1.0, okay? I think it has to be in the super tier, okay? Because this is what started the Minecraft versions as we know them today. If it wasn't for Minecraft 1.0, we wouldn't have the game very well. We would have a beta and alpha version and the game would probably have stopped by then. And that is not that good, obviously, okay? So I think 1.0 deserves to be in super tier. Okay, so 1.0 1.0 was the adventure update. I don't know what was added in the 1.1 version. So, okay, so that's a pretty significant change right here. Sheep could regrow their wool by eating grass. Magma cubes drop magma, uh, drop magma cream. A bunch of changes to these things. Okay, spawn axe was introduced. That's disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Enchantments. The power enchantment. Punch, flame, and infinity was it from the bow. Okay. Beaches was new and super flat. Okay. With that in mind, I'm going to say that 1.1 is valuable. And I say that because, yes, we got a, some enchantments. We also got a brand new biome. But it wasn't the highest of high when it comes to content. Still important, though, which is why I'm putting it in valuables here. Because it, makes, it made it so that sheep could actually regrow their wool and magma cream was dropped, etc. Now, on to 1.2. Okay, released in 2012. Iron Golems was introduced. Ocelots and Cats was introduced. Was this a redstone update? One point, no, that was 1.6. The redstone lamp was introduced. A jungle logs. Does that mean the jungle biome? Yes, jungle biome was introduced in 1.2. That is significant. That is quite significant. I guess it shows it in the, in the thing there as well. Is it more valuable than 1.2? 
point. And that is true, though. It also did lead to the lush, not lush, the jungle plains that we have now, which are one of my favorite biomes now, by the way. You know what? For the jungle alone, S tier, the super tier. I think that uh, I, I agree with you, Skull Green. I'm putting it in, in the super tier because jungles are just super, super awesome. And 1.3, is that going to be the villager something something? I don't think we can justify putting it in S tier because of that but still cool. Well, now I have a random. Okay, so emeralds was introduced. And the chest. Okay, that's like super, super important. Mining emerald door. Villages. Desert villages was a thing. Desert pyramid. Jungle pyramid. Okay, so the, the 1.3 update was basically the dawn of villages and villagers. I think S tier. I think S to S tier because that has that has, that update has resulted in a lot of expansion in the villages. We now have raids. We have different uh, villages system and a new villager trading system being currently developed as we speak. I think in a way maybe they put it on hold. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> it has moved. It, it has developed quite far from that. And also the desert, the desert temple. Absolutely, you know what? Super uh, super tier. Now pretty scary update. Oh, okay. <laughs> The wither ones introduced in one point. What was it? Four? Yeah, one point four. Wither skeletons, zombie villages, baby zombie. I hate those guys. Swamp bat, command lock, beacon, anvil. Was added in one point four. Carrot and crop. I don't care what anyone else says. Only because of the carrot. And, I don't even care about the wither or the beacon. Okay. Because of the carrot and the, and the potato, I'm adding it in super tier. And anyone else that has a different opinion, you're free to have that opinion. But just know that this one is better. <clears throat> anyway, uh, 1.5, the redstone update. I was kidding about that. <laughs> The 1.5 is the redstone update. Pretty self-explanatory, but I do want to take a look here. So we have activator rail, block of redstone, daylight sensor, dropper, hopper. I do remember watching Paul Source Jr.'s video about the redstone update. I'm pretty sure he made some stuff with a trap chest, pressure plate change some stuff with that thing. Oh, okay. This, I feel like this is not being used though. This minecart with spawner, that's interesting. And my shaft. To be fair, I would be surprised if a lot of these biomes don't end up in the super tier, like 1.5 here, because, because a lot of them has added a lot of stuff. I'm thinking 1.6 potentially won't be in super tier, but we'll see. Mid, bro, that, th this right here is the core of redstone. That's the core of redstone. Good, you're joking. Good, good. <laughs> that, I think that's super tier. Now 1.6, it's named the horse update. So the horse was added. We got hardened clay, hay bale, block of coal, lapis lazuli block. Uh, that was changed apparently. Um, horse armor was added, leads were added, name tags was added, okay. I was kinda mid, not gonna lie, but the name tag kinda sold it there. Okay, I don't think 1.6 is super. Even though it added horses and everything, I don't think it is super. And I think that mainly because horses are not that used. If you think about it, because people usually mostly go to an elytra or a boat. Horses are difficult to use due to the trees, forests and rivers, right? So it's rather people use horses. Same with saddles. The name tag is useful though. So if it wasn't for the name tag, we couldn't do farms that required you to name a mob, for example. Yeah, he said, but that, that's mods. This is vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> so for that reason, since all I really see that was really useful in this update was name tags, I'm going to trigger a lot of people. 1.6, I'm calling... Actually, no. Mm. The thing is with a horse, right? You can't even be two people on it. I'm sorry, but I think it's a meh. How we have gone from super tier to dropping into meh, this is not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. But we are now getting to the exciting version because this is 1.7. I started playing in 1.7.10. And this is an update that changed the world because the chicken jockey was added. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I was expecting to see for the first thing. <laughs> Okay, so they made a bunch of changes here. The stained glass was added, pretty valuable. Acacia and dark oak logs, and that is because if we keep scrolling down, a bunch of new changes, fishing was a, or at least got improved. Um, structures, acacia tree, dark oak tree, mega spruce tree, forest, blah, blah. A bunch of new biomes was added, and I basically don't need to say or see anything more. Also, because it was the, the, the version that I actually started playing in, I'm putting it in as tier. It's, if there was a tier, above super tier i would put it above super tier because i think it has some of the most valuable stuff due to the biomes and such ss exactly the bountiful update 
we got Andromite, Guardian, Elder Guardian. I remember when this update was out and I was finally able to play it. I was playing with uh, with some of my friends and we were playing it and those Guardian temples was brand new. We also got Diorite, Andesite, Granite, Polished. I think those are pretty significant. The Guardian temples, I think, uh, that's true though. That's true. 1.8.9 was a significant version. It is still a significant version for PvP on PvP servers because after 1.8, the, the combat changed and 1.8 is probably one of the most most ver used versions when it comes to PvP. So need we need to keep that in mind. Sponges was added as well, which are like huge. Guardian farms and all that good stuff. Very, very good stuff. A bunch of changes. Like it was a huge update. I think it was like a year or two, multiple years. I don't remember how long it was, but it's been so long since a Minecraft update. I remember this as well. I was like, Rabbit's Foot? Uh, Potion of Leaping? This is so exciting. New potions? And I mean, ocean monuments are just kind of cool. And I think for the reason because PvP and the Guardian Temples and the fact that it has so much content, definitely yes tier. 1.9. I don't need to look at the wiki for this one because 1.9 was an update that changed Minecraft forever. <laughs> Literally. Combat was changed. The Elytra was introduced and the end got a semi revamp. It used to be just one big island, one big island. And then when you were done with the dragon, killing and getting the, the egg, you were done. Now you actually had an excuse to go out. First of all, the end was generating. It was populating with islands and you could now get a new fruit. You could get those uh, transport things that you could go through with an ender pearl to get back home and you could find end cities. Huge, huge update, such a big impact. And I'm thinking S here as well. I don't think any of these could really, I, I don't think 1.9 could go invaluable. It has too much good stuff, basically. Okay, 1.10, the Frostburn update. I actually don't remember what's between 1.9 like 1.10 and 1.15 i still don't remember what those versions are about so i'm expecting some mid tiers here polar bears was added husk was added stray was added okay i actually do remember this bone blocks magma block okay okay uh they can now teleport riders from their mounts okay biomes was changed planes to some of, uh they now have fuel trees okay not huge i remember these as well and i don't think i've actually ever found any i don't know if ever if i've ever found a fossil actually Mesa mine shafts though and Ti okay hold on hold on Mesa mine shaft tiger village and zombie village i don't feel like we see a whole lot of zombie villages anymore maybe they changed uh also changed mine shaft change some villages uh no longer restricted by boundaries now generates and tigers this is a tricky one i feel i want to do middle grounds but I do like Mesa Mineshaft, but I don't know how valuable that is. I think I'm going to place it in middle grounds for now anyway. 1.11 Exploration Update. Vindicators, Evokers, Vexes, Llamas was added. A bunch of changes to those guys. Observer. Shulka? No, Shulka boxes was not new, were they? Hold on. Shulka shells was new. I, I, I need I need see no more. S here. Shulka boxes like come on. <laughs> <laughs> How can it? Okay. And Woodland Mansions was added in that update as well. Nice. Okay. Uh, have you seen Skippity's Toilet? This may be a controversial opinion or maybe a strange opinion. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I heard about it. I've seen pictures of it. I was concerned and I decided not to move further in my research. <laughs> Right, World of Color update 1.12. Okay, we got the parrot. Ah, okay, I was like, Illusioner? What? Can only spawn using the summon command. So they added a mob that can only be summoned in by command. That's strange why they haven't added that further. Anyway, uh, added a change color textures. Can, uh, oh yeah, they made a ton of different changes to the colors, I remember. And we had, they added concrete, concrete powder, glazed terracotta, beds for all the colors. I remember that. I remember, this is like getting flashbacks kind of thing where you go back in time that's pretty significant and i feel like 1.12 is pretty significant in the modding scene as well because i feel like 1.12 is where a lot of the good old mods are still located for example such as like night mobs tech guns other stuff like that yeah they might have gotten rid of him in in later updates yeah that's true okay is it super tier that's the question ah who am i kidding Super tier. Because concrete, huge for building. Or is it just, you know what, Acer? You might be right, it might just be valuable. You know what, yeah, those, those are cosmetic. You know what, I've changed my mind. No, val val valuable. It's valuable because a lot of cool blocks, blah, blah, and good for modding, but it's just valuable. You're right, Acer. I changed my mind, it's invaluable. 1.13, update aquatic. Aqu 
aquatic. I know the dragon was added, dolphins was added, turtles was added, actual fish. Okay, that was kind of cool. That added more life to the actual game in the world. Okay, I like that. Drowned was added. <laughs> The thing that a lot of people hate today was voted in in one of the mob, mob votes and uh, well, this is the update it was born, which is why a lot of people are going to put it into probably the most mid tier possible. But because of the phantom, uh, okay, I'm going to take a look at this. Blue eyes, conduit was added. Okay, all this stuff, pretty cool. Acer is saying mid for this. Probably because of the Phantom, which is fair. But we do also have trapdoors for all wood types. And a purple shell in box, which apparently didn't exist before. <laughs> Buried treasure map, bucket of fish, heart of the sea, nautilus shell, kelp, scoot, trident, phantom membrane, debug stick. Okay, uh, phantom membrane to be repaired. Primarily because of the <laughs> great screenshot. <laughs> Um, primarily because of the Phantom, and definitely only because of the Phantom. Super tier. It's super tier. There's nothing else to say. Phantom equals super tier. Also, that aside, it's also because it has a lot of other cool things. But mostly because of the Phantoms. Burn the Phantoms? No, not happening. Not happening whatsoever. Okay, update 1.14. What was that about? Billet and pillage. Ooh. Brown mushroom is the first thing that we see. <laughs> Why? Okay. Uh Oh, stray cats was added. Foxes. I believe foxes are cool. Pandas was added. Pillagers was added. Ravages. Wait, guys. I hate that the image isn't getting bigger. Get, you know, the Wandering Trader has great possibilities. It has such great potential, but it is what it is. And I think that unless I'm missing something completely. Oh, we'll just have a biome specific skills. So villager skills that reflect the unique profession. Villagers cannot change. Okay, so this is when villager trading was changed. Okay, keep that in mind. Important to take a look at the changes. Bamboo was uh, new. Cornflowers was new. I didn't know that. Lily of the Valley, Wither Rose, Sweetberry Bushes, Barrel, Last Oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, Acer. I don't think it'd be mid of all mids. F tier? <laughs> okay, if we're taking it due to the Wandering Trader alone, I 100% understand and 100% agree. And I was about to do it for the meme. I was about to do it for the meme. But then I saw all this. The lectern was added. Grindstone, Stonecutter, Bell, Campfire. It was a huge update. The Lantern, Scaffolding, Signs for all Wood Types. The Stonecutter was added, so all this stuff was added as well. Like, this was a huge, huge update to change Minecraft, I believe, forever. Like, like moving forward, Minecraft was different. Leather horse armor? Oh, okay. You can craft leather horse armor? I'm learning. <laughs> the useful stuff couldn't all be used, though. I know, like, the the loom couldn't be used, for example. But a lot of it could. Also, new biomes. I mean, I love it when Minecraft gets new biomes. Also, raids. One above F tier. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, actually. Yeah, the smithing table, that came, that became useful later, though. The smithing table became later when Netherite was added. You guys really hate the Wandering Trader. Yeah, that's true. Some of them were decoration at the time. Also, they gave villager professions, so they did kind of have a function. Despite the one, okay, we have to look at it properly. That's true. Even Mumbo Jumbo hates Wandering Traders. That's true. <laughs> I feel like I, I'm mixed about the villager update thing because part of me is saying like, it's great, it changed because it's cool, but it also kind of ruined Minecraft in a way. Yeah, I feel like Minecraft was maybe ruined a little bit because it was so then so easy to get certain books, for example. So what you would do in a world is go ahead, get, get like your star tools, stone tools, find a village, run over there, uh, get all the villages in the holes or houses with like one block space to be in. And then you would just switch the lectern out until you got unbreaking three, efficiency four, doing a bunch of farming, you would do maybe like 20 days with just that. And then there you go. You can have full diamond gear enchanted, make a grindstone, use those uh, librarians. You, you basically wouldn't have to play the game to get OP stuff, which for that fact, I'm going to say actually it was mid. Despite it having a lot of changes, 
I feel kind of like you're right, Acer. It felt underwhelming from what we expected, which is what makes me feel mid. I think I'm going to go middle after what I just said. That's true, Skull Queen, as well. I think it's just a different way to play. Expanding the game is almost always a good thing. That is true. They're obviously now trying to balance out the stuff. Super flat world challenges wouldn't be possible without a wandering trader. That's true. Grindstone also very useful. We gotta do things. I am going to start a poll, both on Twitch and on YouTube. We're gonna make a poll. Boom. Poll has started. Okay. Poll has started. Barrels were added, so that's a plus. That's true. Okay, it's 50-50 on Twitch. It's 100% valuable on YouTube. Interesting. Hmm. Currently valuable is uh, winning. I did, not get excited. I did not expect this. <laughs> the poll has indeed ended and valuable has won. Va valuable has actually won. Ladies and gentlemen, I did not expect that. Which version were we talking <laughs> <laughs> about okay i haven't looked at 1 per 15 yeah 1 per 14 is going to valuable you guys decided all right i didn't do it not my fault you guys did all right and if you're watching this afterwards uh and it didn't get to vote because uh you weren't here well um to definitely subscribe and uh turn on notifications yeah and follow on twitch to catch both both sides anyway 1.15 buzzy bees is the update name and we should look at buzzy bees uh bees were at it and i feel like that that is pretty much all that happened Venus, i remember making videos i remember making snapshot videos about this uh, a bunch of changes here but i think bees was pretty much it Farms was changed dark uh, forest generates birch uh, trees once again 1.15 i felt i feel like felt really empty so i'm putting it in meh i feel like we only got the bees in that update i feel like it was a very very small update actually it might be the lowest of you know what lowest of the low out of the biome biomes <laughs> Out of the updates that we have on screen right now, I feel like it is the lowest of the low. Maybe it will change, but knowing these other updates, it definitely isn't. So actually, this update is the lowest of the low. Wow, I didn't realize that. But that is actually the lowest of the low. Okay. Now, 1.16 is exciting because that is the nether update. And I would know because I made two series just surviving in the nether and it was so fun it was really 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 fun and i think it is something that minecraft has uh been needing which is revamping old stuff and they did they added the bastions they added the piglins they added bartering which is really cool like they added the other new wood types of stuff i think it is almost impossible to not place it in super tier in, in fact it has to be down here <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's super tier. I, I really think it's super tier. Oh yeah, it gave us another right as well. You're right, Acer. It did give us the, uh, another right. Yeah, super tier it is. Now, I don't remember is why if 1.17 was separate and then 1.18 and 19 was the... So this is where Mojang decided to split the Caves and Cliffs update into two versions. And 1.17 was the first one. It gave us... By the way, I 100% support that they split the updates instead of taking on too much work. I 100% agree with it. And I believe that that is the correct thing for them to have done. 100%. It added the axolotl. <laughs> <laughs> the glow squid which honestly i love the mod a uh, uh, mob not mod mob i love that mob it added the goat uh i changed some stuff with the shulker it added amethyst which is it's okay tough is a new building block copper i know the copper block is huge for builders i know that is huge for builders um i don't know if it changed the, it also added the skulk sensor the i don't know if it was actually adding the biomes let's scroll down because we know all those blocks changed new items a bunch of new items structures the geo the dripstone cluster the asalia tree it changed the mine shafts that's true strongholds are generated in case in stone dripstone caves was added lush caves the meadow grove snowy low Okay, I need to see no more. 1.17, definitely in S tier. Completely revamped the, the way Minecraft was generated with... I don't know if the height change was actually added in 1.17 or 1.18. But regardless, there's just so much new biomes and stuff. World generation changes that I think it is supposed to be in S tier. The mob is not useless. For an instance, I'm going to be using that very specific mob in my new series, Classic Minecraft Let's Play, which... If you guys haven't watched it yet, go ahead and watch it because it's uh, it's good. Um, but yeah, it, it's good. I actually love the glow squid. A lot of people hate against it. I think that TDM hates it as well. But I think it's good. I actually think it's good. And actually, a lot of the so cute. So I don't know. That's what I'm, I'm just going to say it. I like that. All right. 1.18. 1.18. 1.18. 1.18. 
Okay, uh, well, that's the same stuff. Hmm. So it doesn't show what happened individually. Hold on then. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, I think it's unfair splitting those two. Because they were part one and part two, they were supposed to be in one. So I think 1.17 together with 1.18 goes in the same category. Whether one goes, the other one goes because 1.18 was relying on 1.17's features. So I think those two go in the same place. I'll burn them all in front of you. <laughs> 1.19. Oh, the Warden, the Frog, Tadpole, LA, the Deep Dark, the Mangrove. This is what was added in 1.19. It feels so long ago for some reason. Mangrove Tree, Mangrove Boat, Deep Dark and Mangrove Swamp. What are we thinking, ladies and gentlemen? 1.19, the wild update. Super tier, valuable, middle grounds, meh, lowest of low. I am not sure. I'm not sure, actually. It hasn't really... It was spooky because of the Warden. Yeah, but it hasn't really changed anything in particular because you can avoid uh, award award the warden avoid the warden if you want to but it did get it did add more stuff to explore it did give a reason to actually in my new survival world i have actually a reason to use the compass now because i'm not playing in hardcore so if i die somewhere i can use the compass to get back so the compass did add a pretty important feature valuables here i think you're right it wasn't super but it was good and for that reason you're right it, it goes in valuables here all right the final update obviously we can't judge what uh, 1.21 yet because it's not out yet but once it is out i suppose we'll have to update this um 1.20 camels hanging signs i'm trying to list things that i know in my head but those two things are the only things coming up oh yeah the sniffer the sniffer eggs camel sniffer okay bamboo blocks what's added that's pretty good uh, suspicious gravel so all the suspicious stuff was added the sniffer eggs all these things here the brush okay the armor trims no i don't think it's mid i think i think it's valuable valuables here or middle ground it feels like we got a new biome but not super it does not have that super feel definitely not a super feel but i do think that it goes invaluable i do think it goes invaluable because we did get the bamboo blocks we did get a bunch of cool features very cool stuff but not something that is like meh so i think it goes into valuable and with that that, ladies and gentlemen, we finished the tier list. All right, so, okay, this is it. All right, this is the tier list. I'm going to share this with you in the chat very momentarily. You guys, if you want to, also, if this gets turned into a video onto YouTube, I will leave a link for this in the description. And you watching, if you wish to, if you have a different opinion or want to do something different with it, you can use this, change it around and send it over in my Discord server. If you want to join my Discord server, it is in my link tree, link down below in the description on my website. You can join my Discord server. You can send this in in the Discord server and I will take a look at it and uh, rate whether or not I say yay or nay. Okay, there you go.